guys, it's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. If you want to know how I did this look, please keep on watching. I'm starting with a primer to help the makeup last longer throughout the day. And then I'm just spraying some spring water into my brush to help me blend my foundation, which in here I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear. So because the product can be sticky, the brush with the sprayed water will help me blend it easier. Using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I'm just dotting that on to hide my blemishes and under eye circles and just blending that all in. So next, I'm just taking a white eye pencil by NYX in the shade Milk and apply that directly below my eyebrows just to highlight it and make it look cleaner as well. And so I just went ahead and did my eyebrows with Maybelline's Brow Precise Eyebrow Pencil with a spoolie on the other side. And now I'm just setting the foundation and concealer with a pressed powder. So going straight with contouring, I'm using NYX's Wonder Stick Duo with contour and highlighter. I don't really like using the highlighter side of it though because it doesn't really highlight. I think the color is a little too dark I think for highlighting, I don't know. So anyway, I'm just blending that all in and then doing my nose as well. So I went ahead and grabbed that white NYX jumper pencil instead to highlight the bridge of my nose and just blending that as well. After this, we are just baking that face. I'm just using this loose powder I bought from like W Cosmetics. So far it works quite well in this process. So. I'm just leaving that powder to bake and I'm taking my bronzer to set the contour I applied earlier. And then I'm just taking a clean brush to brush all that stuff off my face. So we are finally onto the eyes. To prime my eyes, I'm using the concealer by Maybelline. This is the Fit Me Concealer. I'm not sure what shade it is though. So from the Tartlet in Bloom palette, I'm just taking this peachy nude colour to set my eyes. And with a warm taupe shade, I'm applying that onto the hollows of my crease as a transition shade. And then I'm just blending them very well with a clean blending brush. So I'm taking a matte muddy brown colour and applying that onto the corners of my crease, but blending that in like two thirds inwards of my eyes. I'm taking a darker brown shade in that same palette, just concentrating onto the very corner of the eyes. So to make my lighter eyeshadows more visible into the crease, I'm just applying the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil once again in white underneath what I'm about to apply, just so it's more vibrant. Then I'm taking a light gold shimmer shade, I'm going over that white eyeliner onto the crease. Then to balance out the eyes, I'm just taking that matte muddy brown colour again and apply that underneath the lower lash line. So here's the fun part, I grabbed one of these off online, I don't know what brand it is, but it's a glitter eyeshadow, but it doesn't really have enough glitter, so I'm just using this to sort of act as a base for the eyeshadow I'm going to apply after, and just blending that in carefully. And then I'm taking that um, gold eyeshadow by L'Oreal and patting that on. I find using my fingers gives a better payoff than brush. And then taking a pen eyeliner, I'm using one by Maybelline. I love this so much. I use it every single day because it's just really easy. And I'm just doing a little bit of a wing, applying that as close to my lash line as possible. So to prep my eyelashes with falsies, I'm just using the Lancome Hypnose Mascara and taking the Lovey Wildflower Collection. <sighs> this, the voice of the thing is just... So, my lips, bruh. I'm just using the Well 
um, lip pencil to outline my cracked lips and then I'm just applying this lipstick by MAC which is in the shade Verve. So after that I'm just cleaning away any smudges or wet out and we are done! Jokes guys, we're not done yet. Of course we need to slap on some highlighter and this one I'm using the Hourglass Travel Size Highlighter in the shade Incandescent Strobe Light and just applying them on the bridge of the nose and the top of the cheekbones. Last but not the least, I'm just dusting on a very little amount of blush. This one's by Benefit in the shade Rock. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more of my videos. I'll see you all next time. Bye!